Hi there, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and this is your tutorial for the week. So last week and the week before, I started developing a character that I plan to animate through a series of videos. And this week, we're going to continue that process. I'm going to fill in this character and also clean up the lines that I applied last week. And eventually, the goal is to have a fully detailed and developed character that I can bring into an animation software, animate, rig, and all that fun stuff. So hopefully we'll get to that point. But for today, it's time to clean up the lines and fill in the shapes. I'm currently inside of Adobe Draw, and I want to tap on my old man here that I've been drawing and developing. So I'll tap on that first drawing to go inside. And I'm just going to start with the face and work my way around. And the best way to tell if you're going to be able to fill something in is to hide everything except for that object. So I'm going to just start double tapping on every single layer except for the head so that I can isolate this. And I probably don't have to do those layers below, but that's okay. It has been done. So now we are looking at the face and there's some areas we can clean up and of course, there are areas we need to fill in. Let's tap on the eraser tool, and I'll reduce the size of the eraser to, let's say about 15. And I'm just going to make sure I tap on that layer for the head, just to make sure that we are set and good to go. Let me tap off, there we go. And I'm going to go to full screen so I don't accidentally hit my layers while I start to erase. I can zoom in, Looking at this ear, I'm just going to come in with my eraser and go all the way up to the top and try to just smooth this out as best as I can. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to tell with that guide for the touches. I have that on for the tutorial, so let me undo that and try it again because it kind of got in the way. So come up like that. And... There we go. It's looking a little bit better. Then I can come down and erase this part as well. And good to go. So we also have some issue with the top of the head. So I can come in and try to smooth this out as best as I can. Just come in and try to Get it close, there we go. Just gotta get rid of that little part right there. And then one more area I can see right off hand, right down here. I will bring my tools back so I can reduce the size of the eraser and then just come in and remove this area. And just clean up this area right there as well. And you have something that looks like this. So now I want to fill in. I'm going to tap on the eraser to go back out and then tap on my color brush. And here I'll tap on the color swatch to choose a color. So we're just going to pick any color we wish here. Let's come in and I'm going to make him pale and maybe a little sickly looking. I'm not quite sure yet here, so let's try to find some sort of color I can start with. Kind of come in like this, perhaps. So perhaps something like that. And I'll just use that color for right now. I can tap off. And now, in order to fill in, I'm just going to tap and hold within the area I want to fill in. And you can see as long as all of your lines are enclosed, you can fill in very easily. It detects all of the lines and does its job. And I can do the same for the back ear as well. So now the head is filled in. I'm going to hide it and then move on to the eyes. So here, I'm just going to zoom in and take a look at my line work here. And for the eyes, especially for the right eye. Let me 
full screen this for a moment. I'm just going to come in, oops, make sure I'm on the layer that I want to edit before I do this, of course. We're going to come in and just complete this line right here so we can actually fill this part in. And we might add a little bit of line work right here on this portion. And then looking at the eyebrows, we need to close this part in a little bit as well as this part. Let me try that again. There we are. And then we have this part up here. Let's try to get this situated. And I believe that is looking pretty good. I can now come back and grab my eraser and go in and make any corrections I feel that are needed. So I can go in and clean up some of these lines that are a little bit messy, but it's looking pretty good. So I can tap on the full screen button once again, and I'm going to tap on the ink brush and come in and tap and hold on my eye to fill that in, and then on the second eye to fill that one in. Now, I'll tap on the top brush once again, and then tap again, go to color, choose white, and then tap off. And then I'm gonna tap and hold and fill in the little circles inside of the eyes. Then I'm going to select a different color. Maybe come in and add a little bit of brown, but it's gonna be mostly gray. Something like that. And I'll tap and hold on the eyebrows individually to fill those in. So, so far we have something that looks like this. We're just gonna keep going. So go to the glasses, tap on my drawing brush, come in and we're just going to complete the glasses here so we can fill them in. And that side is good to go. We can come down here now and just correct the spots that we need to correct. And then come back out here with the eraser tool. And then we're gonna come in and just make some fine adjustments here. Let's get rid of those messy lines. Some of the lines extending out are fine, but these are a little bit excessive. So I'm just gonna come in and try to clean that up as best as I can. Do that one just a little bit. There we go. So now I'm going to tap on that top brush. I kind of use this as my go-to brush. And we're going to select a color. So we'll do a dark red or reddish orange, I guess. Yeah, we'll do a dark orange. We'll say dark orange for the glasses. And I'll come in with the frame, tap once. Now I'm unable to fill this in. You'll notice it's giving me this error. And that means that something is not all the way connected in terms of the lines. Now, coming in here and looking around, I'm not really seeing anything that's obvious right offhand. So what I'm going to do here is just try to clean them up a little bit more. So I'll come in, try to clean these up. In these areas as well. And just try to get everything smoothed over. And then I'll go in and do a once over on the corners if I feel that there's maybe an issue with how things are being filled in due to that. And then we'll give it another shot. There we go. And then I can do the handle. See if this side allows me to fill in. It does. Looking good. Now I'm going to go to the colors again. I'll select a light blue. Something like that. 
And then the opacity I'll bring down to 30%. And then we'll fill in the lenses with that color. So now if I bring everything back, we have something that's looking like this. And the lenses are transparent so we can see through them. Now we're going to reveal the nose and basically do the same thing. We'll hide every part of this except for the head. And I want to, with my brush, grab the color from the face and we're going to bring the opacity up to 100% as well. Now I'm going to hide the head and we're going to full screen the screen and then come in and add a boundary Man, I always keep forgetting to click that layer. So tap the layer before you do this. And then we're going to create that boundary that kind of comes up like so. And you might have to do it a couple times over. It's a little bit hard to see. You can zoom way in here to make sure that you're covering your lines. And I don't want to go too far with this, but there we go. That should work. So now I'm just going to tap and hold on the nose to fill that in. I will double tap on the eyes to bring that back. Now tap and hold on your color swatch once again and select the color of the eyebrows. I'm going to tap on the color once again and darken this just a little bit. Tap off and then tap on the mustache to fill that in. There we go. So now if we bring everything back, it's looking like this. And you'll see we have an issue with the glasses and that's not a big deal. All we have to do is bring the glasses above the nose. So I'll just tap and hold on the glasses and bring them up and release. You can see that the lens is currently overlapping on the nose and that's not correct. So what we're going to do really quick is duplicate those glasses and then we're going to hide the bottom pair and then we're going to grab the eraser tool bring it up I'm going to come in and remove this side of the glasses and with the eraser tool if you hold in on a fill or line it'll act like filling anything in it's going to remove it so you can go in and Remove those things pretty easily just by coming in and holding down the lines and you can remove it. But I just have a little bit left here, so we're just going to come in, get that cleaned up. There we go. And then I'm going to hide this frame and then bring the other one back. And now I'm going to do the opposite. So we're going to bring this up. I'll come in and I'll come in and remove the fill from that side. Remove the stroke. In this case, we'll have to come in and just manually remove that stroke. So just like that. And we're just going to remove it all the way up like so. So now when we bring both back, what we can do is take the back part of the lens and bring it below the nose. So now you have something that looks like that. So we're going to keep going here. There's the mouth. We don't need to do anything with that at the moment. I can bring the hair in. And this will benefit from having everything hidden for right now. But before I hide the nose, I'm just going to use my brush to grab the color. I think I already have the color of the mustache, but I'll just do it again just to make sure I do. And then I can hide everything else here just to see what the hair looks like. And now it's just a matter of coming in and making sure that the shape is complete so we can fill it in, but also that the lines are not too messy. So. With the hair layer, I'm just going to come in and try to reconnect things. So I'll start by putting that line in, and I'm going to come in and see what that would look like. That's not going to work, so what I'll do is I'll undo that line and bring the head back, and then using the hair layer, 
we're just going to come in and add a line using the outline of the ear as a reference. So I can come in and just bring it up like that. So now if I hide the head, we have something that looks like this, and I can just kind of complete the shape down like that. So now I just got to come in and ensure that all the lines are closed off, which can be a little bit tedious when doing work like this, but it's important to get it all right. So we're just going to come in. I'm going to be doing this a little bit quicker, so my line work isn't probably going to be the best thing that it could be, but it'll work. You can just kind of keep going here. Adding in all of these lines that I apparently missed <laughs> initially. And just kind of keep coming up like so. And that looks good over there. And in these final touches, there we are. Looking okay, looking good. We can try filling this in and see what happens. It's not allowing us to, so I'm going to go through again and just make sure. So you have this little part right down here that I missed initially that actually was not closed off. So we just got to come in and, oh, we don't want to use the eraser that big. Let's shrink our eraser down and come in and just get that all situated like so. There we are. So I can try this again. There might be another area just like that one. Fill that in. Okay, I can try it again. There we go. Worked this time. So now I'm going to come in and maybe just darken this a little bit more and then fill it in again with this darker variation of the color. Just like that. So now I have to complete the other side. I will re-enable the head once again, and then we're going to click on that hair layer just to make sure we have it. Come back and grab our ink tool here, and just come in to complete the shape. So I can come down like this, and then down like that, so that way that is set. And then I'm just going to hide the head so I can see this a little bit better and just come up and get everything reconnected. So like this. Like that. And almost done here. So it's looking good. I'm just going to use the eraser to clean some things up. And then I can use the paintbrush. We still have some areas here that are not filled in. So I'm just going to zoom in and check out these areas in more detail. Okay. So let's try it again. And it is filled in. Let's fill that part in as well. So there we go. So now we bring everything back. So let's move on to the body. I'm going to come down We'll re-enable the body. I'll hide the head. But I'm going to take my top brush here and use the color swatch to select the nose. And using that body layer, I'm just going to come in and draw a line up 
And let me re-enable the head here really quick. That's looking okay. So that we intersect and that we have that part of the neck closed. I'm going to grab the eraser and come down and clean up this area. In fact, I'm just going to remove this part of the line like that. And then we're just going to close some more things off like so. Zoom in a little bit here. Just make sure everything is closed. Okay. Now we'll take the brush and come in and fill in. Now for the shirt. I'm going to use a green color here. Kind of a sickly green color. Maybe something like that. So I'll come in. I can try doing the body here and see how that works. It fills in nicely. Use the eraser here. Just remove this line. And then come in. Fill in the areas that are needed. There we are. And we'll remove this part as well. There we go. Trying to make sure that that collar is filled in all the way. And now, before I fill in the two collar pieces, I'm just going to darken the color. Come in and fill in. Zoom out here, go to the pants next, select a color. I'm going to do a brownish tannish color for the pants. We'll try that color and click off, come in, fill this in. There we are. And we're going to color the belt next. We'll make that a darker brown. Clean up the belt buckle here. There we are. And then come in, get a yellow color like that, and we'll fill it in. So now you have something like this. We only have a few more layers left, so we're just going to come in and get them taken care of. So for the leg, I'm just going to come in We'll make sure that that line is set. We'll also create a line for the top of the leg so we can fill in. And then we'll tap to fill in. And then for the shoes, we'll just make those a darker color for right now like that. Come in and fill. And we'll do the same for the other leg. In fact, we probably could have just duplicated this again, but that's okay. We can just come in to that second leg layer, make our connecting line as well, as well as make sure that that portion is connected, and then we can tap to fill in.
grab our color here and then tap to fill in the bottom just like that. And then we have the arms. So first I'll tap and drag and move this arm where it needs to go. So right there. And I'm going to hide the body really quick here just so I can get the line work set for this arm. Actually, let me bring the body back before I hide it. Uh, I want to look at the body here as a reference so I can know how far down I need to make this go. So something like that should work. Let's go down about like this. So with that sleeve then, really quickly, I'm just going to reference the body color and then come in and draw a connecting line of sorts. So I'm just going to go like that. And then with the pen tool, I can come down, make sure everything is situated so I can fill in. Come up, tap to fill. I just want to look at the line work for the hand here. Cover any areas that need covered. So just like that. Get the color for the nose so we can use it on the hand. Looks like I still have an issue, so I'll take a Another glance at all this and just remove any potential trouble areas. Just to make sure that everything is covered and it looks like this area right here is not so. That might have been the issue, so we'll try that again. There we go. That is now complete. And since we did not create a back arm for the character, we can come in now and duplicate that arm. And we'll tap on it again and choose Transform. And just move the arm over like so. Maybe up just a little bit. Hit done. And then take that arm below the body and release. I can then come in with my eraser tool and then just trim the arm down a little bit to ensure that it is no longer poking out. And my legs are backwards, so I'm just going to come in and tap and drag on. Let me see, where's my back leg? It must be this one right here. I'm going to tap and drag and bring that below the body. So now the back leg looks like it's behind the body, and then you have the front leg, and you have your arms, and you have your character. I have just a little bit of line work here that I didn't catch before, so I'm just going to come in and try to remove that really quick. But that should be the last thing that I have to do then. Let's come in and get this stuff removed. And at this point, for these little mistakes or these little tweaks and changes, you might even find it's easier to import this into Photoshop or Illustrator and then make those changes there, because then you can use those tools, which might be better situated for this type of stuff. But we almost got it here, so there we go. Okay, well, there is our character now filled in. So with our character filled in and the lines cleaned up, we can move on to adding different effects, such as shading, more details, and all that good stuff. I'm not quite sure what I plan to do with him yet, so I'm going to give it a week, <laughs> let it, um, I guess, tumble around in my brain, and we will see what happens. So until then, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, 
and I'll see you next week.